This module shows you how to depressurize, remove, and reinstall a filter cartridge. The symptoms are that the cartridge needs to be replaced. Pentair offers a wide variety of filter cartridge housings. Periodically, the cartridge needs to be changed. We recommend whenever you notice a pressure drop or a minimum of once per year. This procedure shows our 3G housing. Yours would be similar. You begin by shutting off the water supply to the unit. You then move to the filter housing, trying to identify the pressure relief button on the top. Your unit may not have this. You press down on the pressure relief button to relieve any air or water pressure. Press and hold until the water or air stops escaping from the unit. You may then release it and we can move on to removal of the sump. The sump can be removed using non-metallic tools. Pentair offers a full range of filter wrenches to fit all of the different sizes of housings. If you do not have one of these, it is acceptable to use a band style wrench, making sure that all components are non-metallic. Metallic items will damage the sump. When you are removing the sump, you may want to have a bucket or other collection item underneath as the unit will be filled with water. Once you have the sump removed, you may remove the dirty filter cartridge and dispose of it. You will then want to pour out the remaining water from the sump. Once the sump is empty of water and the cartridge, you then want to clean it. Using paper towels, but no chemicals, you will wipe down the inside of the housing. We can then move on to the O-ring. We remove the O-ring in order to make sure that it is properly lubricated. We want to make sure to not use any petroleum-based greases or sealants. Only silicone greases should be used. A small amount is applied to the O-ring and then placed back into the housing. At this time, to disinfect the system, it is appropriate to put in approximately an ounce or a cap full of bleach. We then unwrap the cartridge, making sure to dispose of the plastic and the outer wrapper. We center the cartridge into the bottom of the housing, making sure to engage it on the cup at the bottom. Once it is engaged, we can then put the housing sump back onto the cap. Once we have secured this, we make sure it is snug and only use hand pressure. Using a wrench will only make it harder for you to remove it the next time. We can now turn on the water supply. The next step is to turn on a faucet in the home in order to relieve any air or water pressure. We also would want to run any carbon fines out through the system so it is ready for use. We recommend a flush of five minutes. Good luck and thanks for watching.